hear you, which we just did. Did you hear that little boy go, what are you doing? This is a group of ghost hunters, and they're trying to communicate with a ghost through an electronic device. They are part of the Bay Area's paranormal investigating culture. A spirit or a ghost is the emotional fabric of that human being, the very essence of who that human being is, their soul. Carl Fisher is a certified paranormal investigator with the Office of Paranormal Investigations at the HCH Institute in Lafayette, California. This parapsychological program both educates students about supernatural phenomena and how to investigate ghosts, poltergeists, and related psychic experiences. I had experiences that bugged me my whole life. I would see a lot of kind of like random, weird, shadowy type stuff, you know, so as an adult, I wanted to understand what that was. Bay Area paranormal investigations are relatively common. Groups organize outings through social media, meetup, and even at conventions like Paracon. Teams are usually small, but sometimes experienced investigators assemble larger groups for teaching purposes. Basically, it's an open ghost investigation. The majority of people who show up to that have abilities to some degree, and they want to learn how to progress with those abilities. And they want to talk to other people who have abilities so that they can bounce stuff off each other and understand what's happening. Investigators often use a tool called a spirit box, which they say allows direct communication with ghosts using radio frequencies. They also carry EVP recorders, EMF meters, motion sensors, and other gadgets that keep track of anything from magnetic fields to voice phenomena. It's pretty much, I like to call it a spiritual laboratory. So people can just try different ways to connect with spirit. Using the spirit box, recorders, flashlights, things that may register a change in the air, the, the frequency. It's a trial and error, and it's never the same. And that's what's neat. Think of the ghost as a ball of energy, just pure mind, like some of the aliens in Star Trek. And what they do is they project a signal. The signal is, a, think of it as a broadcast signal. Well, some people are set up to process the signal. We all get the signal, but some of us get the signal and it gets processed in our particular pr process of perception as a visual signal with audio. Sometimes it only gets processed as a sense, sometimes as just a sound, but it's all happening in our heads. So you can think of it almost as a hallucination with an external cause. We become the TV set, the receiver of that signal. Lloyd Auerbach is a longtime parapsychologist and investigator. He examines private residences as well as historically haunted places like the USS Hornet, a Navy carrier ship now docked in Alameda. I had one case with another medium. We started asking questions like, so when you were alive, where did you want to go when you, you never could get to go? And the response, she looked at me, she said, um, he said he wanted to go on safari. And I explained then, well, you know, you're dead. You can go, you can go to Africa. You can go to, right up in front of a lion, put your face in the lion's face, can't do anything to you. After that, the family never had an experience with that ghost again. Your average person, when you talk about strange stuff like that, about seeing stuff, hearing stuff, um, I think it freaks people out, it makes people uncomfortable. So like a lot of people just don't talk about it. Academically now, there are people in colleges or universities that are afraid to even express their personal interest in this because it could affect them getting tenure or even affect them in their apartments. And that's happened to people both here in the States and elsewhere. In the media and in movies and just in pop, pop culture, ghosts have always been a scary thing. So we've grown up into that. But I think because of the shows and just because I think of just general awareness of society now, people are becoming more spiritual. I think it's more acceptable and I think people are allowed to be more curious. So it's not as taboo. I don't really care what anybody else thinks, you know. It's my own journey to try to understand what they are and why they want to make contact with me. Come, 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 come.